Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Chaos on Deponia. Last time, we got a bit of plot dumping. Lady Gold in Donna's body told us that Elysium, the reason that they want to blow up Deponia is because it is a space station that is tethered to Deponia, and they, if they blow Deponia up, they can then be free to go to a place called Utopia where they can live the rest of their lives. But, well, we need to f catch up to Gold. We actually don't really know what her intentions are. She, they were kind of vague as oh, to whether or not... That reminds me of my superb trick with the field kitchen. <laughs> it's kind of vague whether or not she wanted to either save Deponia or save Elysium or do both. I'm not sure what she wanted to do. Oh, well. Anyway, um, Goon, that's this guy's name. I guess this guy smells. You can see the lines, although I think it might just be coming from the tube, but I guess we can check that. He Let's seems have... somehow familiar. I don't know why it says that, because we've never met this guy before. I promise you, we haven't. Hey there, uh, socially disadvantaged contemporary. Uh, is that necessary? Why? Isn't that the politically correct term? <laughs> I especially didn't say rancid bum, although it was very tempting. My name is Goon, and if you want to make fun of the homeless, you're in the wrong place. Hey, don't worry. I'm a friend of the little guy. The little guy. Yeah, his name is Wendell. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, I'd almost forgotten. The lower classes don't understand the language of the educated elite. Fortunately, I'm well versed in ghetto slang. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't do that. Hey ho, my brother. What's up in the hood? Oh, my gosh. Please stop that. I haven't always lived on the street. I'm an academic. Oh, yeah, now I understand. This is some sort of uh, social experiment, right? You've disguised yourself as a tramp in order to study their customs. Um, precisely. <laughs> Very clever. I almost fell for it, but not, not quite. I will admit, your stink is authentic. But as far as your behavior goes, there's a lot to improve. See, I'm very familiar with the habits of the average hobo. I could uh, teach you a few things if you'll answer a couple of questions in return. But no, no objections. I insist. Oh, and you're just gonna irritate this homeless guy now. That's what we stooped to. You look hungry. I am. For months, I've been living off the algae that grow on the key wall. Ooh. My gums are bleeding, but what else can I do? <laughs> I see you're making an effort. But <clears throat> just because it's pathetic, that doesn't make it, you know, bum style. So, so what do bums eat? Whatever they can find, I'm afraid. No, 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 wrong. Last week, I even nibbled off the scabs from a discarded bandage. Oh. No, 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 no. I said wrong. No. Bums eat shoes. What? Shoes. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Amateur. Wait, shoes? Not sure I've ever seen that before. I've heard of it, but I don't know. I've, I've heard people joke about it, about having to make soup out of their own shoes or something, but I don't know. Are you still hungry? Yes. Do you have anything for me to eat? <laughs> now, that's the way I like it. Begging is very authentic. But I'm really, really hungry. No, no, no. Don't overdo it. First, internalize this lesson. Okay, I'll explain how to eat a shoe later. Okay. Should get this guy some food. Well, at some point we will, hopefully. Oh, what is that horrible smell? Oh, how insensitive of me. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> don't you think you're overdoing it a bit? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. You don't exactly smell of orchids yourself. Hey, stay in character, okay? A bum like you doesn't even know what, what, what orchidelias are. So keep it cool, okay? I guess that stink really is coming from him. That's, that's, uh, well, that sucks. Is that your umbrella? Hey, hands off! It's the only thing I still own. The weather here on the quay can sometimes be quite unpleasant. Yet, don't worry, I'm not going to take it away from you. I'm just going to make a couple of modifications. It just, it looks too new. You think so? Even though it was struck by lightning the other day? Alright, Rufus, do your thing. Oh, there, geez. that should do. But now it won't protect me from the rain at all. 
Yeah, don't be so ungrateful. I'm helping you stay in character. Jeez, what? See if the bum had just spoken up, being like, "Yes, I am." At well, I don't think Rufus would listen. Never mind. <laughs> Rufus would not listen. Can I borrow your umbrella? Are you crazy? First you break it, and now you want to take it away from me? Well, if it's broken, then what do you need it for? As a, a prop for my role. Okay, okay. How about a deal? I'll give you something to eat, and you give me the umbrella. Agreed? You, you would really do that for me? Of course. I told you I was a philanthropist. All right, so we just have to get him some food, and we get a messed up umbrella. Why we want it? Well, we don't know that quite yet. We could practice a little freestyling. As a resident of the ghetto, you only have to master one instrument: the beatbox. Beatbox? It's very simple. Like this: oom a chu, oom a chu, oom a chu, and now you. Oom a chu, oom oom a chu. Rufus got the groove. Rufus got the groove. Yeah. Who's cooler than a platypus in hibernation? Who kicks ass in any situation? Who makes ladies faint and shriek? Can't be copied. He's unique. It's Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. Who's got style? Who is cooler? Who can fool her? Who's the ruler? Who is daring, never queasy? Who will soon be in Elysee? Um, Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. Baum. Baum. Hey, 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 what, what, huh? What's that supposed to be? Well, I thought I'd build in a break. You know, that's not thinking. That's pushing yourself into the spotlight. I mean, apparently there's no point in trying to teach you to freestyle. <laughs> Too bad that was one cool song. You bum. Jeez. <laughs> he d he does uh, spit a pretty wicked uh, beatbox, though. I have to say. Hmm. You didn't happen to see a submersible go by here? No, sorry. I left my snorkeling gear in my winter house. Oh, that's a pity. Wait a minute! You don't have a winter home. That was sarcasm. <laughs> You're quick on the uptake. <laughs> yeah, okay. No more sarcasm. All right, bums, don't use sarcasm. It out. Okay. Can you tell me a few things about Porta Fisco? Certainly. What would you like to know? Who lives in the tent? Oh, that is the tent of the seer. An astounding fellow. They say he can predict the future. He doesn't know property values in the real estate market, for one thing. <laughs> he used to be a wealthy man. They said he could even predict lottery numbers, Ooh, but his really? business isn't doing so well anymore. That's why he switched to couples counseling. He gives relationship advice? Why not? He's got the ideal qualifications for it. A psychology degree? A crystal ball. <laughs> well, there was that one uh, lottery thing at the... Uh gizmo shop, so perhaps we could convince him to uh, go back to being that psychic thingy person. How do I get to the Upper Ascension Station? You can't. The Organon has sealed off all the routes to the Ascension Customs. Shoot. Do you know where I can find the Rebels' secret hideout? Huh? Sure. The entrance is right here in the sewers. No, oh, no, hey. I meant the secret hideout. I only know this one here. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. Isn't Porta Fisco also an Organon settlement? It's even their central headquarters. Ulysses has his office right by the Ascension Customs of the Upper Ascension Station. It's always been the Organon's job to keep the Deponians away from the high boats. Now there's only one left, and they say it will be leaving the planet very soon. Who knows? Maybe then the Organon will finally disappear from Porta Fisco. Then all of Porta Fisco will make a great leap upwards. Yeah, more than you think. Uh, pardon me? Yeah, it's uh, uh, boring, I think. Huh. I can't say I found this story all that boring. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, um, if you didn't know, uh, Porta Fisco is at the base of the Upper Ascension Station, which has the last high boat, but it is controlled by Organon. So now you see what happens when the government takes control of a neighborhood. <coughs> Chicago, okay. Okay, let's change the subject. This place is somehow depressing. Yes, yes, I, I can understand that. 
Uh, Portofisco has depressed me my whole life long. Yes, but you aren't that important, so it isn't as bad for you. <laughs> Smell you later, and remember what I taught you. Sure thing, my brother. Oh, and, uh, okay, oh, wait, 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 one more tip. Nobody likes a smart ass. Yeah, Rufus. Hmm, what should I do first? We could take care of the psychic later. Man, it's already, it's already at uh, t over ten minutes. So let's uh, go to the sequel, re secret rebel base hideout. I guess uh, Yanosh said he knew people here. What a waste. That could have been turned into a fantastic escape mechanism. Or a high-speed cheese grater. Mm, cheese. Anything in there? That's one of those handy slots where you can insert power inverters. Hey, we haven't seen one of those in a while. This was bound to happen. The tank is empty. Hmm. Tank is empty, no power inverters. Pretty sour looking right now, but, uh, well, we could probably do something about that. Now, remember, we got that thing for the secret knock. It has that plus minus plus. What does that mean? Yes, it's me, Rufus. No, it's not. If you were Rufus, you'd know the secret knock. I know it. It uh, starts with N, right? Ha! Good luck. And we have a little little mini game here. So uh, let's start things off. Now you can do a certain amount of knocks, and then the guy will knock back. And your goal is to uh, do the correct knock in response to his knocks. So let's do a uh, three. One, two, three. One. Hmm. Now we had the first thing is a plus, so let's do one, two. Oh wait, no, I did that wrong. Wrong, but wrong. Blast it! Oh, I remember. You have to add the knock that he used. You don't add one to what he did. Add the a knock that he used to the one that you made. So let's try that again. Three. Okay, so now it's going to be one, two, three, and four. So uh, this is why you don't want to do too many. Go to the max amount of knocks. Because if you do that, then he'll knock once, and then you can't add one more, and then you have to start over. So add one. Oh, so he did three. Now the next was a minus, so four minus three is one. And did four there, so now we have to do five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the plus minus plus. Hey, that was actually correct. Of course it was correct, you dope. Rufus, is that you? What are you doing out there? What do I know? Maybe I just enjoy knocking. Come on in. Janlish is expecting you. All right, Janlish is in there. And, uh, well, we'll discover who else is in there. But that button hmm. is supposed to control that turbine, but uh, does nothing right now. Rufus, pleased to see you. That butt looks familiar. Janosh! Wow! What you built up here is... Oh, it's not all bad. Yes, recruitment operations are running smoothly. <laughs> I must have underestimated my charisma. Guess who? Or the fact that nobody likes being blown to smithereens. Tony? You? Rufus? Ah, you seem to have met. Number 26. This is number two, our spiritual guide. Rufus is number two? That must be a joke. Yeah, why am I only number two? But now, we have one more than 25 people in our couch. You mean 26? Precisely. Although that is counting the three train Dovins, Ashley. Oh. And you're <laughs> complaining about your number? You're training dolphins? That's my job here. Got a problem with that? That's they cool. are torpedo dolphins. Ah, 
I can see how under Tony's care, even peaceful dolphins might be transformed into bloodthirsty implements of destruction. But what's the point of that? I mean, how can trained dolphins possibly help you to capture an elevator headed for orbit? We've got to work with whatever we can get. Which appears to be especially true for spiritual guides. First, we were going for flying dragons, but that proved to be a fatal mistake. That's what I kept telling number 27, but he just wouldn't listen. So, we are now at the secret base, and uh, Yanosh has taken care of things pretty well over here. And somehow they recruited Tony as well. I guess she likes to be a freedom fighter, whatever. But look at the baby dolphins! The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen? Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? <laughs> they make cat food out of baby dolphins, don't they? They do. If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. Uh, that wasn't a no. <laughs> and we have a canister There's here. There's no more diesel. Alas. Actually, we needed to run the turbine in the sewers. Luckily for us, the winds out there are offshore right now. As soon as the wind turns, the stinking here becomes unbearable. Oh, jeez. That's what they use the turbine for. To uh, suck the air out instead of, you know, sucking it in. Hmm. You even have a kitchen? Certainly. We have to supply our troops somehow. Wow, that's more than I would have expected of you. What do you think? We aren't just playing around. Would you need friend like an orange juice, Janos? <laughs> Not now, Mama. Ah, uh, and his mom comes to help the cause. Uh, hello? Oh, hello! Another new face. Are you one of Janos's little friends? Hey, listen. I'm the leader of a rebellion against the Organon. Of course you are. Would our brave leader like an orange juice? Sounds good. Maybe later. You wouldn't happen to have any cat food. I'm sorry, my boy, no. I wanted to make some earlier, but the nice young lady pointed out to me that the baby dolphins aren't part of the supplies. What nice young lady? <laughs> On someone's playing Counter-Strike. Okay. Hello, Tony. I'm not surprised she came crawling back to me. Well, bad luck, Tony. I've got a real girlfriend now. Well, two-thirds of one. <laughs> well, look who came toddling after me. Oh. See? You've never been able to resist my animal magnetism. Keep it short, okay? I have a job to do here that needs my total concentration. Guarding dolphins? Keeping down my lunch. <laughs> a torpedo dolphin se seems like that would be very helpful in finding the submersible. What are you doing here anyway? I could ask you the same thing. Didn't you want to go to Elysium with that Gloria? Her name is Goal. And where is Goal? Has she already succumbed to one of your brilliant maneuvers? Did you accidentally toss her out of a burning hot air balloon? Far from it. It was an escape pod. Or did you saw her into pieces? Not literally. <laughs> Goal is waiting outside, and she's in good health. At least two-thirds of her. One can only feel sorry for her. You're jealous. Just admit it. How did you get here? You didn't know what to do with yourself without me. <laughs> well, I woke up one morning and was amazed to discover that there wasn't a single fire to extinguish in the whole house. I didn't have to repair the roof, scrape toothpaste off the heater, doctor any wounded neighbors. It wasn't even necessary to shoo a GNU out of the kitchen. And then you felt a yearning for me. And then I remembered that I haven't had a vacation in years. In Booza Westwalk, I heard rumors about a rebellion against the Organon. Apparently, that triggered my old rescuer syndrome. You have a rescuer syndrome? If anything, you have a kidnap princesses and hurl fireballs at the rescuer syndrome. <laughs> Call it what you want. I just thought my experience in recovering the victims of explosions could be useful. Hey, so you do owe some of your skills to me. I can't argue with that. Great to have you here. Beat it! 
I think Tony is just a really nice person wrapped in a very surly personality. But oh well. Um. Whether you believe it or not, I am the leader. Oh, heavens. Just like in my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you still dream of me. I was in therapy because of that. Well, as much as I'd love to talk about your fantasies of me, your dream man has an important mission. Oh. Oh. You won't believe everything that's happened to me. Let me guess. You were almost in Elysium, and then your good nature got in the way once again. Hey, how did you know that? Because <laughs> that's the way this conversation always goes. Next, I say, that's what you said the last time. And you say... But it really happened that way this time. Exactly. And even if you are about to say the opposite, you are never going to change. But I have changed. Darn it. Man. <laughs> Guess that's the same conversation over and over again. Uh, I'm not going to pick this option yet for good reason. <laughs> I have a couple of questions about the dolphins. Uh, no, you can't train them to sing karaoke with you. Okay, so much for that idea. Uh -huh. But, why are the torpedo dolphins so small? Those tiny aren't they torpedo are. dolphins, you moron. They're their offspring. Baby dolphins? Oh, how cute. There. What was that? Wh what was what? Your look. You had that look again. I, I did not. Get away. From the pool. Yes, all right, all right. Jeez, she doesn't trust us with those baby dolphins. What's the worst we can do to them? The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen? Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? Oh, yeah, they make cat this. food out of baby dolphins, don't they? Da, 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 I'm serious. Da, da. I w uh, that was. Why do the dolphins look so sad? They're depressed. <laughs> I can understand that if you're their trainer. Maybe I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They love physical comedy. Oh, really? Something to note. How can I cheer up the dolphins? Jump in front of a moving cruiser? No, there aren't any cruisers down here. But it might help. They love physical comedy. It's kind of weird with the... Uh dialogue above their heads is different from what they actually say. If those are torpedo dolphins, then where are their torpedoes? Good question. Not where you're thinking. <laughs> That's a relief. <laughs> Janos sold the torpedo equipment to pay for pizza. Are you serious? Pizza? No, there isn't any left. Oh, darn it. I'm hungry. I'm gonna have something soon. Anyway. How did you wind up training dolphins? I told them I used to live with a crazy baboon. Apparently, that qualified me. <laughs> I need the dolphin's help for my hunt. No way! Aw, oh, Tony, please! This is important! He's right, 26. Rufus sneeze your dolphins more than we do. <sighs> All right. But right now, you won't have much luck with them. They've been totally depressed all day. Okay, I'll cheer them up. After all, I'm a great entertainer. Oh, look at me. I'm Tony. My hobbies are bitching, screaming, and training dolphins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I've still got it. You can't tell the difference from the original. <laughs> Maybe it would cheer them up if you slowly choked to death. They love physical comedy. You keep saying that, so uh, that's, that's, your, that's your hint. Maybe they have you know, I think we depression. should change the subject. All this talk is making me hungry for tuna. And my ulcer is acting up again. Now, believe it or not, before I choose this option, I actually want to save. I have to go. I have important things to do. Leading and whatnot. So let me do what? that. No I'll show you cynical why. final remarks. I thought I'd try something else. I hoped maybe it would make you disappear faster. Heh, <laughs> didn't work, did it? Nope. All right. So anyway, let me save. Doop doop doo. It's tons of saves. All right, there we go. And 
continue. And do you in <laughs> the a dolphin pool needs to be cleaned again? Recruit. Excuse me? I hope I misheard that. But Tony, I am the leader here after all. I have to make sure that everything runs smoothly. And I can't show you preferential treatment just because we used to be together. That is... Is there a problem, Rufus? I don't think you have your team under control, Janosch. Number 26 here actually attempted to contradict me just now. Oh, is that the fact? I must say, number 26. If the boss gives you an order, then you must obey. But... No butch, recruit! Oh, aye, aye, boss. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was wrong. This is a lot worse than my nightmare. And if we choose this? Oh, and by the way, I want my coffee black for the meeting, recruit. You cannot be serious. Yanosh. Recruit! You're out of your minds. I am not your... Recruit! Oh, and don't spill any, recruit. You're digging your own grave. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's worth it. Drop and give me 20, recruit. Don't push your luck. Hey, this is Civil War, Tony. Every little bit of flab on your thighs could mean the death oh. of one of our comrades. You miserable! Uh-oh. And guess what? You were killed by an ugly dragon, utterly overpowered by the sheer evilness of the hideous creature, but you hear perish and was no more. That's right, you actually get a game over screen. <laughs> Tony was not lying when she said she would kill you. She kills you. And, uh, well, this is actually what happens. So, uh, I think, I think, you, like, you you can actually pick quit and, and quit, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. What? How will we get those torpedo dolphins? And can we find that submersible? And what about that weird psychic guy? Well, let's uh, try to figure some of these things out next time on Let's Play Chaos on Deponia. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.